Three steps before you pet a porcupine. Before you pet a porcupine, try milk and a honey bath for a luxurious way to soften its knife-like quills. Run a warm bath. Add about half a liter of milk, about three tablespoons. This is not enough to make your porcupine sticky. And break open a vitamin E capsule into the water. However, avoid using commercial grade bubble baths. While it may seem like fun, these foamy solutions can cause bodily irritation in many species of porcupines. The African crested porcupine, Hydrexis casteria, is particularly susceptible. We often have to rule out urinary tract infection in porcupines who have taken a bubble bath. They come in with symptoms of redness and burning, says Dr. Rosenthal, head vet at the San Francisco Zoo. We discourage bubble baths for all spiky rodents, he continues. Should a porcupine play with toys in the tub? It's okay to have certain toys in the bathtub, veterinarian Rosenthal allows, but make sure they are porcupine appropriate to limit the risk of injury. Washable markers might be fine for critters who are old enough to keep them out of their mouths, but don't use any toys that can be ingested in any way. Before you pet a porcupine, build relations by spending time getting to know it thoroughly. Understand and anticipate its moods. Move slow. Don't frighten and, extremely important, don't startle it. Most porcupines possess low emotional intelligence, EQ as we call it, says Dr. Douglas Ogden, staff pathologist at the Center for Rodent Research, Husbandry and Control in Tallahassee, Florida. Porcupines are generally harder to get to understand and stroke than say beavers, roof rats and other rodents, he says. Especially difficult is the North American porcupine, Erotheus distorum, according to the doctor. They can be grumpier, more negative, and more erratic than your average spiker. But a few tactics can help you collaborate with almost all low EQ critters. Be gentle, be explicit in your needs, and do not get offended, says a pathologist. You should also know a porcupine will warn you, first by showing its quills, flaring them all along its body, including its tail. Your porcupine looks bigger and bushier when it does this. It also shakes its tail back and forth, bristling. Then your porcupine will spin around, turn its backside, and whack with its tail and behind. With its dorsal side and the tail covered in approximately 30,000 quills, your porcupine can literally drive hundreds of quills at a time into your hand.